Hey guys, your Tech Admin here. Today I'm going to be installing Windows 2000 on this Dell Inspiron 3800. This is going to be pretty much a time lapse with just a little bit of messing around in Windows after it's installed. So sit back and enjoy the ride. All right, we are done. Windows is installed. We've got a little bit of change of scenery. I've moved into my office, and you'll see why here in a moment. But as you can see, everything is installed and working. We've got device manager up here, and there are no missing device drivers. Everything is happy. Sound is working. If I go down here and adjust the audio level, it'll make that lovely ding. But to me, the most impressive thing, and I mentioned this earlier, is the battery in this laptop still works. It's running on battery power right now, and Windows says there's about 2 hours and 55 minutes of battery capacity remaining. That is pretty impressive for a laptop that's 18 years old. As we know, lithium-ion batteries don't do so well in the long run, and this one just seems to have somehow managed to make it all this time and still have a respectable runtime because I think three hours is probably about what this laptop got when it was new. So that's really exciting. Other than that, I did manage to get the uh, the Dell Inspiron wallpaper that came with this particular computer, so I put that on there as well. Uh, but the most exciting thing and the reason that we're in my office is I have here an Ethernet cable. And if you look very closely in the bottom right corner, there is a no network connection icon there. So let's plug this puppy in. I haven't done this yet. I haven't tried any of this, but let's plug it in and just see if it works. All I've done is install the drivers for the uh, that Zircom network card. So it's not doing anything yet. Oh, hang on. Our no connection icon just disappeared. Let's let's open a command prompt and see if we can ping another device on my network. Here we go, command prompt, and let's do, actually let's do ipconfig, and we have been given an IP address that is within my local DHCP server's range, so that is a proper IP address, I can see my gateway there, let's ping the gateway. It's hard to type from behind the camera, there we go, and we are getting a ping response from the gateway. This is exciting. Okay. I did launch Internet Explorer earlier just to get through the initial setup of it. I didn't have the network cable connected then, so obviously it didn't work. But now I should be able to launch Internet Explorer and it should load a web page. It's trying.
trying. I believe this is Internet Explorer 6. Let's check actually. Internet options. Um, I think it's given up on loading this page. It says done, but I've got just a white page and also my internet options didn't show up. Come on, there you go. Um, actually, I don't think that'll tell us about which version this is. I think we have to go under help. Yep, there we go. About Internet Explorer. Oh, it's actually Internet Explorer 5, so even older than I thought. Interesting. I thought uh, Windows 2000 SP4 came with 6, but I guess I'm mistaken. Anyway, let's try going to a website. Google.com, there we go. And there it is. That's Google working. Um, let's see, let's go to images. There's image search. What should we search for? Pictures of, uh, let's search for pictures of the Inspiron 3800. I think that would be a fitting thing to search for. And there it is in all its glory. That one's running XP. Interesting. So let's scroll down a bit. There it is. That one's got a really cool case color. It's kind of like, oh, <laughs> well, I can't view the picture, but from the thumbnail it looks like the case is actually green on that one. Oh, and there's a blue one. Ah, that's unfortunate. We got the the boring gray one. Yeah, there you go. There were a few different colors. Black, blue, green, and gray. Cool. I didn't know it came in different colors. Very neat. Well, there you go. It's on the network. Actually, let's try to browse to some of my network shares. Let's see here. Let's do... Boop, boop. Alpha, there it is. And we'll go to my movie share. And it is actually recognizing some of these files. So let's see what happens if we try to play it. This is the movie Three Ninjas. Unable to download appropriate decompressor. Okay, so apparently it can't read the file. Oh, but it is playing the audio from this. That's interesting. So just the audio, huh? I have no idea what's going on. It's been a long time since I watched that movie. Anyway. That appears to be working appropriately. There we go. This is the um, the C drive on my main computer here that we're accessing over the network. So there you go. That's a Windows 10 machine that we're looking at currently. It's funny that it recognizes some of the folders, like this offline web pages folders, and it gives it the appropriate icon downloaded program files it recognizes that one as well very interesting well there you have it that is Windows 2000 installed on the Dell Inspiron 3800 out of the two laptops that I showcased the 3800 and the 4000 I definitely think I like the 3800 better especially because it has that working battery but um, overall, I think the design of it is is much better. Even though it does lack built-in modem and uh, Ethernet jacks, uh, that that card there, the Zircom card, more than makes up for it. Obviously, because it's perfectly working, as you can see. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, take it easy.